Thanks for spending part of your Thursday with us on Mid Morning. New York State is testing out a device known as the Textalizer. Despite the danger, people are still texting and driving. So the Governor's Traffic Safety Committee would use the Textalizer to see if drivers involved in a serious crash were texting behind the wheel. All right, so this is something that's been a problem ever since cell phones came out. People, we've seen the dangers. Mm -hmm. We've had tough laws. People are still texting and driving. Susan Elizabeth, do you think that this is what it's going to take to get people to stop? Well, this is very sensitive. You know, mm -hmm. I know that. I've interviewed several families who have lost family members because of texting and driving. I have a big heart for that, but I'm a little skeptical if it will make people stop doing it. I mean, did a breathalyzer make people stop drinking and driving? No, mm. it didn't. Yeah, I think that this is something that they've got to take steps forward. And we've been watching this just get worse and worse and worse throughout the years. And this might be something that might actually at least help a little bit or be able to actually do some convictions mm. when it comes to these crashes. Because a lot of times you can't prove yeah. that someone is guilty one way or the other. Mm -hmm. I do think that it's beyond just texting, too. I know that this will look and see if you emailed and whatnot. It should yeah. go beyond that to social media because people Snapchat. Right. They're on Facebook when they're driving. All it's anything so is more. considered distracting yeah. if yeah. you're on the phone and I wonder if it'll almost be a deterrent for people hmm. because right now I think people feel like they can get away with it. Oh, yeah. They feel like if I just hide it maybe below the steering wheel and just mm -hmm. do a quick glance, nobody will see me. Mm -hmm. But this kind of technology, you can't get away with it. Uh, you know, that's that's the beauty of the technology. Yeah. Would it be enough though? I wonder if, uh, you know, how privacy groups would respond to this because already there are some groups that say hey police you need a search warrant if you're going to go into somebody's phone so right. i think there's a lot of implications uh further than just implementing this technology i think you're right i think you're right new york is trying to take a step a proactive step which i totally get but the details i'm not sure well and that's so that's what's hard is that it's a slippery slope when they have access to your phone mm -hmm. for this what else does it give right. them access to? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people too, you know, there is that sense of privacy. You don't want to just hand over your phone and everything that's in it. I mean, think about all the things that are on your phone. There is a ton of information, personal right. information, mm -hmm. that people don't want out. Well, right now, this is still months away from being ready to go. The company Celebrate, mm -hmm. which is an Israel mm -hmm. company, is working on it. But it will be interesting to see what New York does mm -hmm. and then if other states choose to follow suit. I have a feeling we'll be talking about this again. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. we